Woo! And welcome, you guys, to XSplit Weekly episode 26. Hello, everybody. Hello, wait, we have a friend here. Can we hear you? Are you muted? I don't know if you're muted. You're not, right? Okay, perfect. All right. <laughs> I see. <laughs> well, you guys, welcome to <laughs> welcome to the show. If you guys don't know, we I have a new co-host over here. Oh, actually, this way. I'm recently <laughs> this way, but we have our brand new community manager, Obizyanka, which she actually. Yeah, this is the first time we actually uh, have her on the show. She's been in our chat for a few times, but we could just like pop this up here, brand for brand at the top. Well, she can't see me yet, but we have your blog up here, so you can see that right there. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Real quick. I don't think they can hear you yet because it's my fault. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see. Let's get this together. Let's see. Hold on. Technical difficulties, you guys. This is why you guys are good to be here. to understand. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Hold on. I forgot. I had to change some stuff around. Ah! Where is it? Okay. Open. It's like something with my settings, of course. It's always me. Playback? Is it this one? Okay, let me see. They know. All right, let's see. Oh, she, but she isn't music. No, she's super quiet, but she's not muted. Oh, okay. Let me see. That's something totally different. Um, let's see. Return this up. Let's see. I got it. Let's see. It's up. It's up. Let me see. Let me see. That one's on there. Let's see. I think we got it. Wait, we. I can hear you through that. That's always a good thing. Um, check it out, my little Skype stuff. That let's see, default. Let's can try this. Can you hear me louder? Oh, okay, we can hear you. We can hear you. We're good. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna turn you down just a little bit. Hello. All right. So go ahead and explain yourself again. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Anastasia or Obizyanka, and I am the Canadian Expo Community Manager. I am part woman. I am part community manager. I am part streamer and part <laughs> Canadian. That both make up make up me. Yes. I think somewhere there's gamer and other things, you know. Mm -hmm. But those are the main. There you go. There you go. So I the one thing that I always I loved about this whole thing when she was coming on to to the team, it was like so, so crazy because we were trying to like not be so obvious about about like it got to a point where oh, she was we just like, so <laughs> <about> like <it. laughs> she was like at different events with us and people were like um so like <laughs> she, wait, she's there with you guys like what's people going would on come up and congratulate me on my game. <laughs> the best is that photo that you're about to show yeah that yeah was at PAX East. yeah and Hold that on, was me... it, it's the korean community manager the japanese community manager the mm. u.s community manager and a blonde Canadian woman. <laughs> we're just like, we're just, she's just hanging out with us. I can't scroll down right. Oh, there we go. Perfect. There we go. So this was that. Making PAX... my way downtown. <laughs> this was at uh, PAX East. So, which is yeah. really, oh, this is at the main menu party. So this was like yeah. the final, like, you know, the Opus Yanka test of like, you know, if we should have yeah, her on absolutely. the team or not. And frankly, I think I, I've passed with flying colors simply mm. because, you know, we have AJ and Kevin mm. who are kind of like our, our senpais, you uh -huh. know, <laughs> very knowledgeable, they're True. very proper. And then we have you, you're tall and you're fashionable. Mm. And now we have me and I'm tall and I'm fashionable. I know, we so now I got some competition guys. <laughs> We balance. It's not about competition. Yeah, I was kidding. It's was about kidding. balancing one another. Yeah, out. yeah. You know, we got. We have to make it even. Mm -hmm. But we you know, let the senpais win. True, true. We gotta, we gotta get them out. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But something that was really We're cool. We're fighting for North America. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so what? Something that I thought was really cool is how she got discovered. Because at first she thought I had said something, and I was like, oh, all right. I I, I I didn't say anything. Um, a few months ago. By the way, yeah, I yeah. love that you use the word discover. I feel like a supermodel. She was discovered. <laughs> she was splits next it, to us. <laughs> it was like literally was super discovered. It was like, um, what happened? We were at Pack South and we were having um one of yeah. our stage presentations. We were actually doing this show live. It was the first time we ever had done it live. So we were uh okay, we had okay. we had some people were like, you know, let's have some you know some streamers on and like I asked her if she wanted to come on. She's like, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Because so, you and I, like, outside 
of all of this, we're genuinely buds. Yeah, yeah. So she came on and like she was, you know, talking, being normal and stuff. And then like, you know, I went home and everything happened. And then all of a sudden, like our boss is like, hey, so like we're looking at the VOD and like we were checking out this girl, um, Obisyanka. Like we know that she's from, you know, Canada, you know, and they had talked to me previously like a few months ago about like looking for a Canadian community manager. And I thought I was like, I never asked because I was like, I don't know. Like, I, I didn't you know. you didn't want me to no, you no, the most no, person. No. I get it. Well, mm-hmm. there's that. No, I get it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I just, I didn't know if, like, if that was the route you wanted to go into. So, and I wish I should have asked before. But then I also would have felt, like, kind of, like, weird if I was, like, if my friend doesn't come, then I'm going to be pissed. You know what I mean? So I'm glad that they did it, like, themselves and not had me involved the whole time. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, cool. absolutely. I know exactly what you mean. And maybe if you had asked me a few months before that, mm. I would have been in a place where I may have been more hesitant to yeah. accept had I been busy or anything mm. like that. And it it really was beautiful. I genuinely thought that you were the one that talked she to, did. to the bosses about me, yeah, to the like, bosses, was it? Was to explain. And it was really, really humbling to find out that, no, they watched a lot of me. And mm. for everybody that, that hasn't seen it, it was at PAX South. Mm. And basically I had... It was uh, AJU, mm. right next to you was Dead Flip. There was uh, Eat My Diction 1, mm. me and Mallory. And I'm a big fan of Nick. We're, we we go way back. We're mm. friends. And and then Mallory was right after me. And she would ask. I remember she was talking about Fallout 3 and mm. stuff like that. And yeah. even though it was, an, it, it was you guys interviewing us, my mm. old host kicked in. Mm-hmm. And I just went like, okay, okay, hold up. Excuse me. It's Mallory. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like about Fallout 3? And we just kind of had this back and forth, and I've never met her. Uh-huh. And I think that's kind of what, what, um, what is the word? Um, how do you say that in English? What kind of set me apart? What mm-hmm. brought, what, mm-hmm. what kind of brought me to the eyes of Xplit? Speaking of Eat My Diction, he's in chat saying hello. <laughs> Hi, Nick, how are you? <laughs> did you know that you and I talking at, that exploit panel got me this sweet gig right here. Yes, I, that, that's why I think it's so crazy. Oh, like you. we, like I, I, I have to bring this up because I think it's so important. Because it's like, um, you never know what kind of opportunities are out there. Like just by doing stuff. Like I bet you ten bucks that you didn't think that. Like what, what was that? Three months a later, that <laughs> here. I, are you like, kidding nuts. me? It was oh, you're doing a panel and you, you know, you want more friends on it. Yeah. I'm your friend. We actually planned it the night before because oh, wow. we were at the um, the party, the uh, Twitch Texas and the party party that you guys and Discord sponsored. Mm. That we, sorry, I'm a part of Xsplit now, that we sponsored. Mm. And I, I asked you about it and you said, girl, come by the show 3 yeah. p.m. and boom. You know, it slowly kind of rolled in and this is it. Mm-hmm. But now it's like it's like a whole thing here which is awesome like she had her first event which i'm going to show a little clip of but we could talk about it a little bit um if, once i get it uh it was at twitch vancouver meetup which uh we've been as cms going to different events um or like literally around the world at this point um yeah, yeah. and it's been pretty cool like um this is your first event which i know that you're super nervous and you know it a was bit, yeah a little bit, a little um bit. But she did an awesome job. It was it was so good. I was so proud of her. She, I was like, can you wait? Can you can you just pause for a sec? Can you yeah, yeah. trace that back? Can you repeat the last sentence that you said? That I was proud of you. But before that, I, already, I did a what job? A great job. <laughs> a perfect, oh, amazing me, job. It, so nice. it was such an amazing job that I was. <laughs> I thought it was really cool, and and um, like it's really cool to see like, you know, you you've come so far, and like, and it's only been like what a month. It's only been a month yeah, and she's like on it, like around. boom, Actually, boom, Actually, a boom. month today, exactly. <laughs> we did this on purpose, everybody. This is this is we totally did this on purpose. purpose. <laughs> no, Twitch. So one of the reasons that we have been going to so many events is mm. that Player Dot Me and XSplit we sponsor meetups and we make it. We we help out communities on Twitch that want to you know have a little meetup and mm. get to meet everybody and have video game. Uh, video game companies they're showing up their products have tech companies a bunch of cool stuff and you know you need funds for that you need the months yeah yeah yeah. we're always trying to get people together and that's why you and i have been going around and kind of documenting the event Mm -hmm. showing what it's like getting Mm -hmm. to know people in our community because it is our community yeah exactly all these meetups Mm -hmm. 
and it's just always cool to meet like new people like uh just just in general who are like wanting to you know learn more about expert player and stuff and and getting involved uh, in exactly yeah and, and and like you know obizyanka is like you know taking over the the player stuff which is pretty cool so she's adding her little spice in there which i love seeing like the the tweets on twitter and stuff so which, enjoy the that. funniest thing is right away whenever i'm on the player website uh -huh. and i try to you know write the same way that everyone's writing yeah we, we are a hive mind yeah all the cms we are one one hive mind. Everyone knows when it's me. Everyone's like, oh, it's the new girl. Because she she really likes anime. Obviously, it's the new girl. Well, anime is pretty Everyone awesome, though. Nips me out. <laughs> but they're getting to I know you, which is I good. I use so many emojis as well. But that's always good because I, I love faces. Normal emojis. Yeah. I use, you know, the little zero with the, the three yeah. and the zero for a kissy face and like T <laughs> underscore T crying face which is always i i, I, need I don't to type like i need to learn how to do those faces more often i think that'd be really good for me to actually add into my repertoire of writing stuff to be so more kawaii cool. exactly boom there you go kawaii. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah I you guys <laughs> but uh she's i think you're gonna be around for the next few weeks because aj's still gone he's gonna be gone for a, a little bit longer um so obis yanka or kevin will be like in and out with with me uh hosting the show for the week um you we can but, have a vote every week yeah who, who will be who, who do you guys want <laughs> like but vote me off though just vote me off if you guys want to um vote for me there you go vote for me to win kevin's not here to defend himself <laughs> right he's like wait i'm asleep because i'm in australia <laughs> Um, I think he's on a. Oh wait, we're not supposed to talk about it. We'll, well talk yeah. about this later. In the true, morning. true, true. Um, Kevin. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, so we can move on to some cool news, obviously from XSplit side of things. Uh, so the first thing mm -hmm. is that uh, we actually added a new update to the PTR that um, from last week. So if you guys have downloaded that, make sure you guys go check out the blog that we have. Um, there's like more updates and we're adding more st stuff that people have been adding in about feedback and things like that. Um, so trying to keep up with that. Make sure you check it out. It's on our Twitter, Facebook, everything, um, xplit.com. You'll see it right there. Thank you. She's on it. Boom. I linked it in the chat. There you go. Everybody wants to just have yeah. quick, easy access. True. There you go. Um, so and it's so cool because we get to try out. New, everybody gets to kind of try out new features and help us mm -hmm. build and create a better XSplit. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, we can, you know, XSplit has us who we also stream and we create content. We yeah. do YouTube videos. But it's still, we're only a few people. You know, yeah, it's yeah. incredible to have. And even the company, we're, yes, we're a big company, but we're mm. not it's not the same as having every single person yeah. that can give us direct output. It's, mm. it's incredible. And I'm thing, so excited. For yeah. That. And the thing about it is that like, it's always good for things like this. So people can tell us like a lot of people do crazy things with their streams that we may not yeah, be aware yeah. of. So it's like, Hey, I want this feature. Like I use my stream for this. Like if it, like give can us you feedback, please bring this feature. Yeah. In. And we yeah. could try to see what we can do. Like, I know there's been a few people who had like some, some questions about a few features that they actually tried to put in there, which actually worked out into the final mix of things. And with 3.0, it's actually, um, it's still, you know, obviously kind of like beta testing, but we're still adding stuff in there. So it's definitely perfect for that. So yeah. Boom. So the PTR is out there. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, next on the list, we have 8-Bit Salute, which we're a part of now. Um, I'm going to actually be posting about this on social pretty soon. I don't have the graphic for that, but, um, but she's got the link for you. Wait, I do have the graphic for it. Wow. I do. Um, we are supporting 8-Bit Salute, which, um, we're going to be trying to get, um, a lot of you guys out there who want to get involved with charity um, onto our team, we have now set up the page on Tiltify, which you guys will be able to sign up for free. Well, obviously for free um, and help out uh, raise money for charity. Um, there's a lot of cool prizes that are going to be involved with this. So make sure you guys check that out, too, as well. Um, so once I get that link, make sure you check out our social media. It'll be, we'll be uh, promoting it throughout the weeks and the month. Um, so helping soldiers out which is always good and it's like a big charity month like this this these yeah. last two months yeah Play live, eight yeah bit. and there's also uh i know that um uh battlegrounds they were yeah. doing they're also supporting gamers outreach mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i love it yeah i love that as gamers we are passionate and we really when we when we believe in something we stand behind it and mm -hmm. we push and i think it's great that we're slowly turning the status quo around of oh yeah. you are just you don't want to grow up you're just playing video yeah, games and here yeah. it goes okay i can have fun i can live the life of my dreams and i can also mm. help 
change the world exactly for the better yeah by having fun and enjoying myself and one thing i thought that is it's so cool and i like when you say that it's like such a great point that like people have so much weird it, like things about like um oh well you're a gamer like what can you actually do but like i know from like when i did my halloween charity thing and i know you've done a lot of charity stuff too like we've raised a lot of money for different organizations and and just yeah. like getting your community involved and other people involved it is possible and you know i'm really glad that like nowadays like people are not like oh it's only for nerds and only for kids to play video exactly. games exactly so or you know a big one is too oh you just don't want to grow up it's, yeah, it, yeah we're raising awareness yeah. as I think it's incredible. So most importantly, please let us know if you are going to be participating mm -hmm. because we we have a bunch of great things to give out to yeah. you for your communities. Mm -hmm. Like Brandon said, you'll be tweeting out more about it and yeah. keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. Social is important. Social is important. Twitch. Yep. Well, I said Absolutely. twitch.tv slash xsplit, but also <laughs> twitter.com com slash xsplit i'm so used to saying that so that happens a lot um so yeah so we have 8-bit salute so make sure you guys check that out we'll be having some other um charity stuff that we'll be using um in the next few um weeks so make sure you're checking that out too as well all right so next um this is a little thing that was kind of like my little baby for a little bit um which was i'm gonna actually grab this real quick because i didn't do it earlier but which was sniper elite um, mm -hmm. We actually announced this last week when Kevin was on, and we're doing a little giveaway here. I'll put this right here. Ah. And we Did actually picked the winner. It wasn't you, sorry. <laughs> I was but, gonna say, is it me? <laughs> but we did have some uh we did have a winner on all we did it on player and on uh facebook and on twitter so we had three different winners but our twitter winner was mark i'm gonna say it wrong H helsenman did win on our twitter mark h mark h congratulations <laughs> on winning my friend sorry i i'm terrible with names sometimes but uh he ended up winning it for uh steam which is pretty cool um we had a lot of people on our stream team who were involved with the launch of this game um and they gave the game out to their communities which went very well so it was pretty cool we had like a lot of entries for this giveaway so congratulations to you mark and all the winners on our other social media platforms uh, we have some more cool things happening in the future and i know she I knows mean, about it point coming we're up giving away games wait but we can't say yet every week oh i thought you're gonna say it okay good but yeah kind oh, of i'm so sorry I, I, oh no you oh, didn't give it well you didn't give it away me, yet me time. she no, didn't give uh, it away i yet. mean at this point we're giving out games pretty much every week yeah it's, yeah it's incredible we're trying to get back yeah we're trying to get back to our community too as well who like love to get involved with like you know x split and trying to do stuff with us which is pretty cool um but we have a really huge one happening in a few weeks i cannot wait so that's why you guys got to make sure you check oh, it out oh you thought i was gonna talk about that no one. no no i was just Isn't like you freaked out no i was like no yeah like, i'm scared i will sell the answer <laughs> <laughs> no i'm kidding, I'm kidding. So, so, to the highest bidder um one of the most amazing things is that you know we we have a software and this mm. software is for content Ooh. creators mm. and because we have such a wide reach of content creators we have a lot of gaming companies that, that even tech companies that come up to us and mm. they say i have this product i have this game could you help us disperse it and that's why it's so important for you guys to email us to get in touch with us to take a look at our social because we're constantly giving these things out and mm. we're going to be looking at finding more efficient ways of doing that yeah over the coming weeks yeah True, true. And one thing I think we can quickly actually add in here really quick um, is that we actually redid our uh, Elite dot xsplit page which if you guys didn't know about that uh, we actually announced it on on, on our twitter and social uh, which is basically our xsplit sponsorship program if you guys want to check mm -hmm. that out um, there's more information at elite.xsplit.com which goes into more information about that uh, i'm gonna actually grab the video because i think it's really good and it has, yeah it we're in it has, so it's super you, know, you guys are gonna see it the, the event that we talked about yeah South, where yeah i actually ended up getting hired from let it. me get grab that video real quick ah, i forgot that video was even in here where is it oh, i can't and find I will it. post it yeah is that I video mean, let's see if you can spot oh there it is me. i got it okay so we're gonna play this video really quick give me one second and we'll get this together all right and then we switch this over one. to here all right and this is also on our youtube channel it should be i'm pretty sure all right take a look at this
Wow, there we go. So that's pretty cool. I thought I I I I'm glad that we're able to kind of like you know help people out who want to monetize their their streams. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of people on the elite program already. Um, we just had to apply, and if you fit the requirements for it, then you know definitely you'll get in, or you know you'll get response back. Um, but make sure you check that out because it's a great way for people to make money, especially like we're gonna go to this a little bit later. But if you stream on Twitch, like with the affiliate program happening, this is another way to make and earn Absolutely. money and also get swag and also if you're at events <laughs> we will be looking for you to do stuff with us which is always cool <laughs> and again a lot of people aim for exploit elite and they think or they think oh you know what i'm not even gonna apply because mm -hmm. i i might not fit the mark right now mm -hmm. but we can still like i said uh, we were talking previously about game giveaways and tech giveaways mm -hmm. we are currently building up a portfolio of you know you might not be right for exploit elite just this immediate second mm -hmm. but we can slowly st we can still build a working relationship with yeah you of course start having you on our on our panels at events we can st still get you swag we can still get you games and tech and mm -hmm. then you know when you do get there it it would be our pleasure to introduce oh you yeah of course for sure yeah so it's, it's not about how big you are it's about the relationship that you develop with exactly us. absolutely as long as you have a good relationship with like just anybody in general you know it's always a good thing yeah, to not have. just us just in the gaming industry mm. in general in any industry it's it's not always about how big you are or or how much it's it's about the relationships that you form mm -hmm. for sure for sure wait was it gold something what do you mean get the wish out. but um Oh, yeah, I think I think you can answer that real quick. Uh, but yeah, but after that, um, we have our our product manager, Spooky, who's doing a well, we're also doing this stream that's happening, I believe, in the Philippines called uh, Cavo, uh, wait, Cavo X TSB 2017. I think this is in the Philippines currently and it's powered by XSplit. We have a little trailer to show you guys that is, oh, you know, featuring incredible. this. So you guys it appeals check this to out. me. <laughs> this trailer appeals to me very much. So enjoy this. Here we go. Spooky, <laughs> tell us about this a little bit. All right, what's up, guys? This is Spooky. I know it's been a hot minute since I've talked to you guys, but I have a great event coming up for all of you at home. Anyway, we're partnering with KSB, uh, KVO slash Team Stickbug, to have an amazing event coming up in Japan, May 4th through the 6th. Myself and Fart will be handling the English stream on my channel, twitch.tv slash Team Spooky. I am the bone of my sword. KVO is an amazing tournament, and I'm really excited to show it to you guys because not only do these guys feature the very popular games, but they also feature lots of underground games, including one of my particular favorites, which is Fate Unlimited Codes. Not only that, but these guys have partnered with Team Stickbug to bring you one of the best Guilty Gear tournaments in the world, featuring not just great Japanese players, but also lots of American players who had to travel to the various Team Stickbug qualifiers just to make it out to this event in Japan. Pikachu! Once again, guys, this great event, Cavo, will be broadcast in English on my channel, twitch.tv slash tspooky. Thanks, of course, to my masters at Xplit Broadcaster. Make sure to check it out. And of course, if you want more information on the many various games being played, check out their website at cavo2k.com. <laughs> Just to let you guys know, this is who we work with. And these, these, these people are amazing. The, these people are amazing. So hard not to laugh. Everyone, I heard you laugh. The, 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 the people at Xplit are freaking amazing. Can, can you believe oh, that God. video? That video was I, I awesome. I watched that video the other day. <laughs> And I, I just, I watched it and I thought, I cannot wait to meet this person. Yes, the, he looks watch. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. This is like, this is how the office is. Like, this is why, I've, like, I was telling her before, like, she started working there. I was like, dude, like, you don't understand. Like, the, the staff at XSplit are so, like, crazy creative and cool like it's like so chill like you'll you'll see and stuff like that happens i don't know if you caught it but like last last friday uh they had this ping pong tournament which they've been doing for oh, weeks and they yes. actually streamed it and we have this show that's on xsplit sometimes called uh xsplit uh arena which is different xsplit staff members like you know play games against each other for like this big championship like statue that they have at the office and uh the ping pong tournament was last week and they had this really crazy trailer which i wish i had that but um, <laughs> Um, yes, I watched it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, and they are, were they were doing the trailer where they have like the close up of yeah, our yeah. coworkers and they're just twirling the ping yeah, pong yeah. paddle or like crossing their arms and I, scaring men yeah. to the camera. This this is explain. I mean, we're serious people, but like we can definitely have some fun for sure. So um definitely check that out on Team Spooky on Twitch and you'll get to see that. Um it's gonna be from May 4th to the 6th. 
So there you go. Um, so we could, I guess we could go into this really quick because the next thing Wait, before, goes before to two people. Before we yeah. switch away from the, the tournaments, yeah. when we do visit the office, I yeah. absolutely want to set up a stream. Oh, where yeah. We have a, either... You know, without embarrassing ourselves too much, something like <laughs> X Split Campfire stories, where we talk about funny shenanigans that happened at conventions uh, or at the office uh, or anything like that. You have to take a picture in front of the wall in the cafeteria. It's I don't know if you've seen the pictures, but there's like this big collage that's like black and white. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, I need to add my picture. I just need to put my face on just, it. Just, the, boom. I, I have I have my <laughs> emote over. I just need to put, yeah, it, in just, just, <laughs> put it right there. Uh, but no, like um, we're going to be, well, I guess we can, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but what we're doing, but um, really quick, uh, where, well, we can talk about where is AJ and Kevin, where I'd say, where are <gasps> they? Week, where are they? Where are they? <laughs> well, as you guys know, uh, AJ is still in Japan. Um, he's actually at mm -hmm. a uh, event right now called C4, which I believe it's a 24, no, it's three day like marathon of gaming um, i actually was watching aj stream last night here's a picture of it i wish i had this up earlier Jeez. i watched him this morning yeah oh, no, he last was, night he, he was at the japanese barbecue yep yep he was there and then he was at this place too and they're like a, a you know streaming off of xsplit uh, i think twitch is involved with this as well um but yeah it's like a three-day marathon where he's just playing mm -hmm. a bunch of different games with a bunch of different people which is pretty crazy which oh is, pretty is cool. that yeah. A tower that year Tsukumo is that a small computer tower? I I would not be shocked. I would not be shocked by that. I yeah. am gonna ask him to take it back for me to Canada. <laughs> 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 kidding, kidding. Um, that joke is bad. <laughs> no, definitely. You need a. If that's a cool computer, I would I would want one too. Right, and it's so small. And I love it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, AJ's gonna be gone uh, pretty soon. But yeah, Kevin, unfortunately, he is. He went back to Australia, so he's not in America anymore Forever. at this point. But he'll he's never coming. He's back. never coming back. He'll be back soon. <laughs> I believe he'll be back with us pretty pretty soon. Um, which leads into our next thing, which I'm sure we could talk about at this point. But we will be at E3 this year. Once again, yes. it's gonna be awesome. Uh, this is her. F Will this be your first E3, or have you been there before? No, this is my second. Okay. So I went to E3. I lived in Los Angeles two oh, three yeah, years ago. Yeah, I went yeah. to E3 then, mm -hmm. and uh, I loved it. Mm -hmm. I I loved it. I it was it was incredible. But this year, it's the first year that it's open to the public as yeah. well. So yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna, gonna be, be. It's gonna be an interesting. It's time. gonna feel a lot more like a convention mm -hmm. and less, you know, less techie people I yeah guess. yeah which is I like i feel like it. yeah a lot of people are kind of like f trying to figure out like how it'll work um which i'm i'm kind of curious to see but i feel like you know for what we're planning i think we're gonna have a really great i think turnout. it's gonna be it's gonna perfect. be really perfect if you this. are going to e3 yeah whether you are a content creator mm -hmm. an aspiring content creator whether you work at any company or at starbucks it does not matter let us know if you are going to e3 so we can get you involved on some really, really amazing yes, content. Yes, yes. Right? Because that's going to be happening soon. And like, which is always mm -hmm. good about like conventions where we're like present. Uh, we definitely do a lot of great, as you can see, opportunities and stuff happening for uh, content creators. I mean, we're not saying there's another job. There's not another job at this moment for XSplit, but. Um, <laughs> you will not become the next <laughs> thing I think we're good on one. that aspect, but. Um, you know, we talk about it a lot just just to kind of segment into something you, you talked about this on twitter the other day about advice for the industry and now with so many people getting affiliate on twitch or mm -hmm. partnered on theme or even with youtube people mm -hmm. are saying how can i take this a step further how can i get into other for you know how can i work behind the scenes mm -hmm. and oftentimes it's being seen it's meeting people yeah. you know you might do something on stage with other people and it could be I don't know, wearing a costume and playing games. And that, that works. That happens a lot on our stage. <laughs> yeah, right. You'll meet. That's why I said it. You'll yeah. meet somebody from them and then they'll invite you to dinner, to lunch. And it's just how it works. It, it really is about who you know. Mm, exactly. But for networking sure. is such a cold word. It, it's it's got to be natural and flow. Mm. And I think creating content with others live is one of the best ways to let your personality shine and mm. one of the best ways to let yourself be discovered. Mm. 
which is always especially a good thing. last last thing about this especially if you do not have thousands of viewers because realistically if you have thousands of viewers you will always be the first for people to watch mm -hmm. but if you have 30 40 20 100 viewers many people might not watch your the game you're playing or they might not ever get to your stream but if they meet you in person and they like how you are then it won't matter to them that your cast might not be what they're looking for or you're not playing the exact game they would want to include you as a person and they will make room for you mm -hmm, for sure yeah so little mama Obi comes out. <laughs> there you go i love that content creation <laughs> let me help you create content what like literally shows. like your content creation literally got you like at this position now which is pretty cool and like i was like you know i've been telling her like this job is a great stepping stone to like just getting in the gaming industry beyond just being a twitch streamer like now you're a twitch streamer this slash job is a great job period <laughs> slash a community <laughs> manager a and now you're like you know people are probably gonna soon come to you and be like hey like i'm looking for like a sponsorship how do i go about that kind of stuff so of definitely that's that's really cool um but something really exciting where yeah. uh, it's going to be happening, geez, in like two weeks, uh, we're actually going to be gone. The show will be gone. Forever. forever. <laughs> the show will be gone. <laughs> and we are physically going to be gone because we're actually going to be visiting the Exploit office in the Philippines in Manila um, from the 19th to the 28th. So we'll be gone for a week for like a company retreat where basically we did this last year um we all like flew into manila but it wasn't as nice because i wasn't there true there's that <laughs> um please so <laughs> so Brandon regrets inviting me oh, already please please <laughs> you're fine um everyone vote seven next week <laughs> <laughs> please um so we all like went to this retreat and then we all got to like you know we work from home like this because we're remote workers and like you know everybody's in um you know the philippines who work for xsplit uh so they don't actually get to see us every day in the office and they oh, a lot of them don't really know us because like we work in the marketing department and like a lot of the people there some work in the marketing department some work in you know the dev chat and stuff like that and and developing the program so this is their way and our way to meet everybody in the office get to know people uh, which i was i when i went there the first time i was idly shocked by how many people knew who i was i was like oh hi <laughs> Um, <laughs> but it was like so weird seeing it but it's like it's so cool to like have that same like once you get to go there like we all technically have our own desk there that like there's a desk and we have our own phones but obviously we don't show up for work for it <laughs> but like you know we're gonna be able to go to work and like be in the office and do some stuff even though like at the time period it's it's gonna be totally flipped because we're gonna, they're in the yep. future. So, so I for gotta, me, they're 12 hours ahead of yeah, me. Yeah, so for that's going to be... be 13? Yeah, it's going to be pretty nutty to, to try to figure that nutty. out. But I'm, it's, I'm going to love it. Um, but yeah. I'm so excited, genuinely yeah. meeting everybody. I found yeah. it really, you know, it's... Oh, I'm just... I'm not... Basically, I mirror everything that you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. Um, let's see. Uh, we, oh, you should stream it. There, there'll probably be a few streams. I know AJ since with the whole mobile thing now, mm -hmm. we can definitely do some stuff out there. I want to set up my mobile streaming so, as well, yeah. and I want to stream when we. So, quick, quick, quick story. When mm -hmm. we went to Twitch meetup in Chicago, we went to Gyukaku, like a oh, Japanese yeah. barbecue, with so Brandon, yeah. Kevin, AJ, and me, and both. Uh, Brandon and AJ were streaming. Kevin was cooking. Yeah. And I was sad. They're thinking, wow, <laughs> I have found my people. See, there you go. I told you. The, it's like a family already starting. It's like awesome. Um, Kevin is the cooking mama. You guys yeah. are the streamers. We just you stream. Were, you were going every time. Okay, take a selfie. <laughs> say hi to this person. I'm like, hey. <laughs> but it might see oh yeah i know twitch ohio did just happen recently which i think we're we're working on trying to set that up too but i know um that hopefully happens soon um but okay i'm gonna throw in some quick things real quick i was trying to post it in the thing but i don't think i'll just talk about it really quick so there is some beam news that did happen today because we did talk about the different uh platforms that we are on so i'll talk about it real quick so today uh beam announced that there is a new generation of broadcasting on beam which is presenting their interactive feature on 2.0 which like if you guys don't know about beam you can do like you can press different buttons to actually interact with the streamer stream which mm -hmm. is pretty scary to me because i'd be scared if someone pressed the button like something like popped out um but, but there... for a lot of people that like high energy 
energy broadcasts yeah. and that themselves have a lot of energy, it's mm. exciting and fun. Yeah, you know, for to sure. Each their own. Mm -hmm. And um, so that was released today. So you could definitely check that out if you're a beam streamer, which is pretty cool. And also, uh, they set a reminder, which we actually have been talking about this on um, the stream. Um, that you know they they did up up their partner requirements, which it, it's going to be happening in two weeks. So if you are a beam streamer, you better like you know make sure you know about all the information that they have out out there because um, I know there's like some qualifications that if you had a beam account before a certain period of time, you you have a kind of a leeway. So make sure you check that out. Keep up on your beam news, which is pretty cool. There yeah, go. it's true. Yeah, I mean, gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah. I think them upping the partnership Rex will will make people, you know, want to go for it. And mm -hmm. it's, I, I I believe in competition. Yeah, I think for competition sure. Competition is incredible. Mm -hmm. All right. So next, moving on, we have mm -hmm. Twitch news happening. Um, which if this actually just happened, and uh, you know, we could talk about how you feel about it. And we were talking about last week how much stuff was like thrown. It's like oh, boom, boom, goodness. boom. <laughs> I think Twitch, you... we love you, but <laughs> you need to slow down. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. She's just like, she's us. just like, okay, this is too much. And a lot of broadcasters, which I agree, like. Uh, for the different things that kind of popped out of another of nowhere, it was like you know oh, we yeah. like partners and also you know broadcasters. Now we have to pay for emotes and then we have to pay for different stuff. Like this stuff is really expensive and like I was like I wasn't prepared for this to have like you, two extra emotes this week. You, you know didn't I mean? really say what it was. So what happened is yeah. they right now we're gonna have interactive. Uh, bid badges. So if mm. you are a caster on Twitch, I'm sure you've seen some people have a purple bid badge next to their name, a gold, yeah. a red one. They're going to be interactive. So every caster who is partnered on Twitch that enabled bids can change their bid badge starting from the green one, which is the thousand bid badge, mm. up to anything they want. Mm -hmm. I mean, as long as it fits TOS, etc. Mm -hmm. And it, it's exciting because it's a lot more customizability. But this comes right after, you know, new affiliates get one emote. A bunch of Twitch partners get seven, five, eight extra emotes. Yeah. And frankly, like some of my artists, I have, I got some great new emotes. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert. There you go. But uh, self advertisement. <laughs> and uh, Brandon's gonna after this cast, he's gonna be like, Anastasia, I can't believe you did this. I already know, but she's so, fine. This is the part I know, we're I know. also promoting us and stuff. And uh, <laughs> promote me. <laughs> so. And one of the things is right now I am I am looking to commission my next emote, which mm. is a three part tentacle emote. There you go. And all the artists are booked. Some of yeah. the people that I really want to go to, they're booked until the twenty second, yeah. the fifteenth. Mm -hmm. And now there's going to be bit badges too. To yeah. Me. So and now it's just like, and there's sixteen of those. Out. Because what this does is it inflates prices yeah. and it makes the artists busy, and mm. they might want to rush some projects to get to others. Mm -hmm. And, and it, if it's, you think about it, all of this launched in, in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. In less than two weeks, yeah. all of this launched. I was like, I had to pay for groceries, okay? So I don't have all this money. But I think for me, the custom bit badges, I'm not going to mess with it. I I, that, I, I don't really, I, I'm okay with what they look like. But I mean, to each their own, obviously, their stream and how it works. Uh, but yeah, J-Rock put a really good thing. Uh, the biggest benefit of all this news is the artists, they are getting really great commissions, which is really cool. Absolutely. Especially if you're a creative person. There is, like, I, I think you could do, like, or if you're a partner, at least you can have a commission button on your channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can have a commission button and twitch uh, when they launched it they put a big 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 uh, twitter post on you know if you are a creative streamer please link your portfolio mm -hmm. your website your yeah prices. yeah so i, I definitely agree with you that it. i will not oh, oh no, i no, agree yeah. with you that i will not change at least for now i yeah, will not yeah. change my bid badges mm -hmm. because uh to me, you know, if somebody gets a red bid badge, it signifies something. A gold bid badge signifies something else. If I change all of them to look a certain way, uh, I think it'll take away a lot of the charm. Yeah. The only thing that I might do is I might maybe put a monkey face in the middle because my yeah. channel branding is all about monkeys. Mm -hmm. But still keep the colors. And mm -hmm. that being said, even though we talked about how the artists are the one benefiting, true. Mm -hmm. But the artists are partner, you know, the artists that are benefiting are they could be partners or not partners, but mm. everybody found out at the same time. That's true. And between yeah. us finding out and it releasing, it took four days. Mm. I was in Memphis for the St. Jude Playlist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got the time to think about my emotes. And I got, you know, 
the tiered subs that's two extra emotes yeah. and then my i got something five extra emotes yeah it's a lot to think about yeah it's, it's... A message and you know i have different people doing different emotes mm. some people that do the more kawaii ones some mm. the more cute ones mm. forgive my dweeb <laughs> some people do the lettering and yes it gives artists you know more money but it's also it overworks them and it yeah yeah them. and then if it's like you're a regular person who like uh works with them you, like you said yet the way people get get overbooked really quick and i was getting scared yeah. that mine uh like the person who does my emotes like i have been very like like i only want her to do it. i don't want anybody else to do it i have in the past like switch emotes where like had someone else do it it just did not look right for me and i was just like okay this Although, is too off branding uh, little little reveal you might be getting an emote from somebody oh yeah that one that one okay that <laughs> one that one i'm super happy about there is an emote that I am obsessed with that Obi has, and I was like, I have to have like the opposite or this like one we, like that too. Quince, I so hope wait, yours you got it. Actually, you, facing the other yeah, way. it's gonna be faced the other way. That one, I because it was so funny the way because the way she did it was hilarious. She came into my chat and she was just like she would say something. No, she wouldn't say anything, and she just something would pop up, and then she would do that. And I would be like, oh my god, I need that email. I need it. I would so, just make one little face. And then she would do that. And something would pop on my screen. Oh, okay. So, we got some biddies. There we go. Um, but let's see. So I wanna I wanna address a question in chat that yeah, yeah, I go really ahead. like. Yeah. It says, Do you think this will lead to close commissions from a lot of popular artists soon due to overbooking? It already thank you for that question. Yeah, yeah. It already a lot of the people that I have worked with were either overbooked. One of my artists, she said, look, I can do these three emotes. They're lettering very quickly before, you know, the tentacles that you want, yeah. young lady. <laughs> You'll have to commission them from someone else because I have exams. And, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people, what they said, what I've noticed is a lot of artists are only taking a few new clients mm. to make sure that they can still work with the people who have commissioned them in the past for their emotes. Mm -hmm. That's true. So overall, TLDR, Twitch, we love you. Thank yeah. you for this. Mm -hmm. Please slow down, take a smaller <laughs> spoon, and feed us a little slower. Yeah. <laughs> Just a tiny bit slower. And all, yeah, and, 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 yeah, and if you are looking for artists, true, make sure you do your research, too, as well. Um, like, I, there's a lot of great artists out there, but there are a lot who are actually charging a lot, which are crazy. Because the prices are getting inflated. Yeah, they're getting Absolutely. inflated. So make sure, like, you know, if you... So check your budget and also check around too. Don't just go for the first thing. I tell people that, but you know, there's a lot of good artists out there, but there's a lot of who overcharge. There's a lot of who undercharge too, who shouldn't be. You know what I mean? So just make sure you tell them. Ooh. And this, so this is the uh, something that I realized is ask your community. Yeah, so, uh, that's really Obi important. Derp was made by somebody who watches my stream. It mm -hmm. was made for me for free. So mm -hmm. was Obi Nam. So yeah. was Obi Met. And, mm -hmm. A lot of these emotes that I got were kind of made by my viewers yeah. that made these emotes. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have to go and get professionally done emotes. There you go. I like that. That's always good. All right. So let's see. So moving on, uh, we have a, well, obviously we talked about this. Um, we we're going to talk a little bit more about it. So more Twitch affiliates uh, rolled out this week. Um, which, you know, I was really excited and I know a lot of my friends who are like worried that they weren't going to get it. I was like, you guys, it's, they literally said it's going to take a while. So a lot of the people who are it. waiting are now I officially people that I know get a feeling. Yeah. It's, it's so I've cool. About. Uh, it yeah. Just and it, it's just such a cool way because there's a lot of broadcasters who, you know, may not have partnership right now, but are like, you know, do this full time or try to do it as much as they can. And like for them to be able to try to monetize, you know, make some sort of income out of it. It's really cool because, you know, I know, you know, like streaming is really expensive and, you know, it, it's it's hard to keep up with a lot of stuff like just like in general. So um, I think if uh, what I've been doing, and I know she's been doing, too, is like, you know, going in and and. and Hanging out with the um, the people who just got affiliates, giving them bits and stuff. And yeah, I feel like I've been getting those badges. Yeah. <laughs> and I think my my page, you know, my money's going down a little bit, but yeah. I'm happy. It's but I, I think that like for this program, I think it benefits everybody because like when people Absolutely. are buying bits for like affiliates, you know, they may come into another streamer stream who might be a partner and give bits to them too as well. So like I feel like I wish Twitch would have done this from the, the get-go because then, like, I felt like it was a little bit unfair that only partners got it. But it's cool that now they're releasing it and that, you know, you are actually putting in effort to get it, which is pretty cool. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. See. So to, to add to that, 
it, it's you know yes twitch didn't in, include it right away but it's mm. also twitch has exploded in the last few years yeah. it has grown so much and now there's so many partnered streamers mm. the demand is always growing i love that affiliates can now start making money because it also makes the path to partnership less and please i, I know you guys probably talked about it in the previous oh, week, yeah, so yeah. don't be afraid to cut me off yeah yeah, yeah. but it, it's in you know in the past you i know it took you a little bit to get partnered yeah imagine if instead of feeling dejected every time you got rejected you instead were told here let us put you on this list you can start making money mm. you can have a subscription button and then when you keep on putting the work and you keep working you'll get the partnership yeah instead of just you know people feeling i'm not good enough i'm not good enough i'm not good enough oh i got partnership mm -hmm. That would have been the less of a blow. Gotten partnership. I hear them say, "Oh, well, this person got partnered, you know, much quicker than me." Yeah, really. yeah. And I think that this does help with like people f like not doing that so much anymore. I feel like if mm -hmm. I would have had that, I would the blow of like getting denied would not hurt as much as what it did. I I remember back in the day. Now, now we could literally be like one of those like old people being like back in the day, you know, we didn't have back brats. We didn't okay, have brats. Hear about that. Day, <laughs> when I got partnered, okay, so uh, bragging rights, I got partnered in three weeks. Uh -huh. And back then what happened when I got partnered, I could run ads. And then mm. three weeks later, I got a sub button. Back then, Dang. they want they gave you ads first to see if like you still kept streaming because uh, yeah. they had a problem of people getting partnered and leaving. Mm -hmm. So back in my day, partnership <laughs> had two parts to there it, my go. man. Which watch in a few back years, like it'll, it'll be so crazy where who knows where Twitch is going to go from here for sure. Oh, I love it. Um, I think we are living a golden age. And especially now also, you know, we talk about Twitch so much mm. and because we're both with Twitch streamers, but mm. Beam, mm. Beam showing up and doing so many great things. Yeah. I think it's good because it keeps Twitch on their toes. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest, if people weren't leaving Twitch, to go and get partnered on Beam, Twitch would not have rolled out affiliates. That's they true. would not have rolled out these other things to mm. try and keep people. Competition mm. breeds innovation. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, you know, hopefully everything is, you know, on both platforms, you know, success, like, you know, go with what works for you. That's why I always tell people, like, mm -hmm. I like whatever works for you, works for you. And I, I definitely, I know the Beam guys. I know she knows a lot of the Beam guys. We work with them. Exactly. And they, they're great people. Yeah, they definitely are doing a lot of cool things over there, too. So, I, you know, don't, I Again, don't we never it. know where we're going to be. Just because you're exactly. on Twitch now doesn't yeah. mean you're not going to be on YouTube later. Yeah, you know? so you never know. If you're on YouTube now, doesn't mean you won't be on Beam later. Mm -hmm. Always treat people nice. Yeah. Uh, let's see. J Rock asks, "Do you guys think numbers from uh, affiliations can lead to basis for oh, lead to the basis for partnership and for unpartnered casters?" Oh, I don't know. That's a good question because I mean, it might be a totally Ooh. like different. Wait, like, do you mean that numbers the, will? Well, with the affiliate with the affiliate thing, will it help now? Well, you basically answered already. Like would yeah, it help out with partnership? Affiliate yeah. is gonna be a pool. Yeah. It's basically partner light. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. basically, you know, what when, when I like when I was getting partnered, you had two two stages to partnership. You mm -hmm. had the ad uh, running ads, and then you got the sub button because a lot they had a problem with a lot of people leaving mm -hmm. or not staying motivated. And now the problem is they can't partner everybody because yeah. there's so many. So now you're getting partner light where you still get a lot of the perks. And then as you keep growing, you can get into partner. Yeah, we already answered that. There you go. So that was perfect. Pay attention, class. <laughs> so, okay. So the next part, which, uh, so that was enough news for Twitch that we had. They they didn't kill us this time with a bunch of stuff. So it's, that's always a yeah, good thing. You um, cannot get me talking about content creation. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a puppy that you bring to the dog park. I'm like, oh, let's talk about creating content on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> um okay hold on so you, wait do you have a controller near you like uh, at this a moment controller? yeah wait don't pull it up yet I don't have... pull it up not yet not yet we're about to get into the next part which we always do but i gotta get my controller ready okay so this is the next part which brings everybody together us nerds so okay raise your controller to the screen video video game news Woo! Oh there you go oh you got two oh <laughs> she had two right one is to play wireless games online and the other one's for <clears throat> PlayStation. There you go. So now we're going to get into some gaming news. I love that. She's like, wait, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> I need a controller. Um, so we're going to talk a little yeah, bit about... So <laughs> Surprise, I was prepared. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about some uh, gaming news. 
Nico, please. Nico mm. knows everything though, so she knows what's coming up. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about some gaming news that actually happened in the last few days. Um, so first, um, I can, I'm trying to pull it up before, but it's not working. Hold on, can I get it to work? Okay. I think I got it. So basically, um, the first thing we're going to talk about is Mario Kart 8. So do we have any Switch people out there? Anyone who oh has this? Oh my god. This I do not have a Switch yet, but Mario Kart 8, I, I, I look at people playing it, and I think I need this. Yeah, I need yeah. Mario Kart 8 in my life. I, I need it. I like, okay, so I bought this on Friday. Are you showing I, off your Switch right now? No. Yeah. <laughs> you would. Yeah, I would. But so, yeah, I have Mario Kart 8. Hold on, I'm signing in so you guys can see it. We'll pop up in a second. But yeah, I, I I know that Mario Kart 8, like, was one of, like, it's, it definitely sold a lot. Pretty much if a lot of Switch owners already have the game. Because, one, it's Mario Kart. And, two, it's, like, one of the next big releases after Zelda. So a lot mm -hmm. of people did get it. And it's actually pretty fun. I do I do like it a lot. Um, Which I'll show it off real quick. Look how... Look how you see that in the music's playing. I love it. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to do that. Okay, I was sorry. waiting. I'm like, oh, okay. But <laughs> well, that's it. Um, but the cool thing, obviously, is that you can take it on the road with you. And this is why I'm suggesting that you get it before these trips start because you'll have something to play while you're on the plane. Oh, I see. I see. Thank you, And Brian. AJ also was, um, he was streaming off the plane Wi-Fi with the Switch. <laughs> One Wait, time. you can stream off the Switch? He, he, no, he was streaming off of his phone on with oh, to the Switch. Yeah, so he that was. That is so smart. Look he at was, EG yeah. maximizing his yeah. life. Yeah, he he was doing that. It was it was nuts. Uh, but I definitely do like Mario Kart, and there's so many different ways you could play. Like you know, when you have the the controller like this, but then say if you have a friend come over, one of them gets like the little thing like this, and then the other one gets this one, and that's one way to play too. And then like it's that. friend time. That's friend time. And then if you have like the pro controller, then you get a third person. And you can also play online for free until the fall when they make you pay for it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. Um, but there's going to be some, um, there is, you know, everything unlocked in it, which is pretty cool. Um, you get a lot, of, you can use, I, I figured out with, um, with the Amiibos, I had one from a long time ago. You could get like little special like costumes, which I'm going to see if I can. No, I can't. But you get like so little special costumes. Basically, if I come over to a friend's house that has Amiibos and yeah. I have a Switch, I have to scout all their Amiibos. Yeah, and get all their stuff. Oh, I would do that so I can get the costumes of Mario Kart for sure. Yeah, yeah, do yeah it. it works. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely. Make Switch. sure you see if they have any limited edition Amiibos. Yeah, oh yeah, those out there too. So watch out for those. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I cannot play Zelda on the Switch. You can screen. get a Rihanna yeah. jacket. Yeah, I'd put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> perfect uh what plane did he take that needed that oh i need that wi-fi i mean a lot i of need to do. know the plane company yeah i'm only flying with them now there you go if i could stream from the plane i would be the most obnoxious person i would love it everybody every time i'm on the plane and i'm playing it people are like because i'll be playing it like obviously well actually i actually played it with this the thing out and on the table tray thingy like i played it like yeah. this and i play like this if you're like what is that thing what is that device what are you doing <laughs> and you like, just look at them do you watch like it, do, it's do, it's so do you weird. Know anything about the it, world? It is, is it is so switch. weird. But I've been actually I played it like that the first time, and some guy was like, "What? I don't know what that is." But I play it like this, so it looks like I'm playing some weird tablet thing, like put together like that. But this is why I love the Switch because you could play it with so many different ways, and then you could play it on your TV, of course, and all that cool stuff. And I just can't wait for more games to come out for it, uh, which we we're going to talk about a little bit because uh, Obi brought this up like yesterday. So do you? I mean, I know E three is coming up, and mm -hmm. they're probably going to announce crazy things. But yeah. do you do you feel like it's enough right now? I mean, a Ooh, lot of people, from what question. I've been reading, was people were saying, you know, yeah, they gave us Zelda, and now they gave us Mario Kart. And yeah, you are, you're like on the money. You're on money. I would say if you are not a Zelda fan or if you're not a Mario Kart fan, I would not get it at this point because there are not enough games, I feel, to justify the purchase. Um, I just ha happened to have a bunch of old games that I was like getting rid of and like some old systems. So I ended up selling it to GameStop. I was like, why as well get the Switch, you know? Um, yeah, know? So that's why I did it. But I think right now their game selection isn't very good. And, and, and we were talking about this like a few episodes ago that like me and AJ were feeling like, you know, they released Zelda on purpose like right beforehand just because... If they didn't have that Zelda, like, it, like no one would buy the Switch at, at exactly. launch. Yeah. But lucky for them, everything I've read about Zelda, people mm. said it was incredible. Yeah, yeah. Everyone just said it was, you know, 
pretty much game of the year yeah, for yeah. them. Yeah, which I, I mean, I'm still playing through and I have not gotten, like I haven't been able to finish it, but it is definitely a cool game to get into. There's a lot of customization in it too, which, you know, if you haven't checked it out, I'm sure you can see videos on YouTube, but it, it's oh, definitely I, pretty cool. I watched cool. a few streams yeah, play. Yeah. It, it looked really great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, have you seen, wait, I have to show you this. Have you seen how small the, the games are? No, show me. Okay, you'll, well, I guess you'll that, see. Like, they had, you'll see okay, that. I know this might be a silly question, but is it true that they coded the cartridges so that yes. kids wouldn't eat them? I actually licked it, one. I'll like, lick one right now if you want me to. I will give you $5 if you lick the cartridge on camera. Should I do I it? I can see people at XPLA just cringing. I will do right it. Now. I will lick it. Yes! I will, I will lick it. $5, lick it. This is, this, okay, this is how small it is. I will lick it for you guys. Okay. Yes! <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that was gross. Okay. <laughs> Wait one second. I have to see the reaction. It, 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 tastes, tastes, it tastes like... <laughs> have to see it. Please. Okay, no, oh. I did it twice. That's gross. Okay, that was... No, that was gross. It tastes like nasty, <laughs> nasty rubber. Nasty rubber. <laughs> I don't know. What I, that's Tomorrow a, morning, ugh. we wake up at, at whatever, 8 in the morning, ugh. emergency meeting. <laughs> uh, Anastasia, why were you egging? <laughs> were you really egging Brandon on with the words? Brandon died of this, you five this, to this toxic Brandon, stuff. Brandon, did you really lick the cartridge? I just, wanted to, I just wanted to try it out again to see what it tastes like. I just like. wanted to taste it. Yeah, that was, that was, it's, they still have it on the newer game, so you're right. I thought they would have changed it, but I they did not there you go. That so works. $5. If, if I die, you can have an apartment in Chicago. It's yours for free. <laughs> oh, my God. I love you. <laughs> um, I love it. Um, but some other cool stuff besides me licking the, the Nintendo Switch game once again in my lifetime. <laughs> this was kind of a cool thing I wanted to add in there. There is another game for Switch that came out this week, um, which... Um, which is kind of cool. Um, last week, I ended up going to this uh, variety show. It was a Nintendo-themed variety show that uh, a friend of mine, Aaron, puts on um, every few months. And he had this guest on who is a developer um, from for, for this game called Tumble Seed, which actually is coming out for the Switch, which I'm trying to pull it up again, but it's loading. But um, I was actually helping them out, trying to uh, find you know content creators to uh, get the game and try it out. And a lot of streamers. It actually came out yesterday, um, but it's out for Steam, PlayStation Four, and Nintendo Switch. Um, it's basically like um, you play like you have this little seed, and you're like on a balancing beam, and you're going through like different puzzles and stuff um, to try to you know advance in the levels. But this game is loading. I'm trying to. Oh wait, I got it. I got it. I want to show you guys. Um, but it's pretty cool. Let me see. The screen's kind of small, and I have that camera thing, which is the worst. But, um, <laughs> oh, so, yeah. I haven't started it yet, but it's like, you know, Everyone you play said this it looked, key. it looks really beautiful. Yeah, so, and the music in it's pretty cool. Uh, but they're a local Chicago developer from here, and, oh, my ring light. um, Oh yeah, don't you like? <laughs> um, but they are from Chicago, and I met them, and I was just basically like, hey, you know, I would love to help you out, you know, um, finding people who want to play this game. And a lot of people have liked it so far. They definitely have said it's super challenging. So be prepared if you go check it out. It is in the e store right now. I think it's nineteen ninety nine, um, mm -hmm. but it is out today, which is pretty cool. So we have the Switch, Steam, or PlayStation Four. Go check out Tumble Seed Games. So that's pretty cool. Um, Let me link it. I have the link yeah, yeah. open. But yeah, go I ahead. Um, and, and the guys are super nice too. So if you're a streamer, I would definitely reach out to them and they definitely would probably hook you up because uh, they, you know, they're indie devs and they want to get their game out there, which I totally understand. Um, so definitely hit them up if you have not. Um, but let's see what's next. Um, oh God, we're close to time too. <laughs> yeah, so I, was, gonna... I was saying, honestly with me, you got to interrupt me. Yeah, I no, it's okay. About... It's totally fine. Um, it's a small download too, so, which is I'm awesome. Really yeah. about mm. the next subject. Wait, near? Oh, wait. Hold on. The video started playing. Yes. Okay. You ruined it. I, I, I love Sorry. Sorry. Enix. Yeah, yeah. And go ahead. I played near Automata. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. The music, the scene, the story, beautiful. Mm. And what I love is that Square Enix doesn't take itself too seriously. Yeah. And with, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to pull up the video right now. So they are releasing a DLC and it lets you fight the ceo the de the developer ceo that is what i will link you guys i will link you all the 
which I haven't finished this game yet, which I'm kind of sad because I was like, I, I'm a big fan of like the series and I've like just been so like busy with all these other games. Like the backlog I have is insane oh right God. now. It's Mass such Effect. a good year for games. Let's talk about that. Mass oh, Effect. I know you were still playing oh. Mass Effect. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, yeah. <laughs> Mass Effect, uh, Nier Automata, Dragon mm. Quest Heroes just came out. And, mm. and like not counting the indie games, Hollow Knight. Yeah, it, it's just, so it's insane. Games. And we're coming up to E3, which that's going to be like games, games, games. And we're going to be able to like see some of them. And that's why like it's going to be really cool that if you guys are going to be following us, you know, on our socials and stuff, we'll be showcasing a lot of new games coming out all from the devs. And all so the games. Just, all the games. They'll be there. Every single game ever. Um, I'm just, I'm excited. It really seems that, you know, this year is is starting off and shaping off to be such yeah. a good game year. Mm -hmm. Which is going to be pretty awesome. I, I'm really excited. And like, the, you know, of course, like this DLC is really crazy but you do get some new costumes i see and also you know obviously you get to fight the ceo of, of square and the music yeah, the music in good. this game is it's really incredible good. the fighting style it just one thing i love about this game is because you you fight with a lot of combos it's hack and slash and when you hit repeatedly it just it has that crisp feeling yeah when yeah you attack. oh it mm -hmm. just it feels so good because like don't I you absolutely feel absolutely recommend this yeah don't you feel like when you play games that like you know obviously if it's a hack and slash like it feels like Ugh, I'm pressing this button and it's not feeling like you're actually doing anything yeah, and different. It's not feeling like you're doing stuff, but in here it does. And when you and when you evade, it's not just a little roll. It's like yeah. a very graceful, you know, she, you fl she yeah. flies back. Oh, mm -hmm, I love mm -hmm. it. I, I'm sure you guys are all feeling it. Yeah, Friday the 13th comes out pretty soon as well, too. Um, mm -hmm. So next, what happened? I played the beta, did you? Yeah, oh, it was really good. I had a lot of fun with that, and I cannot wait for the full release. It's going to be so crazy. And, I am, I am yeah. curious to see what's going to happen, because mm. Dead by Daylight was huge yeah, last year. Yeah, I myself yeah. played it a little bit, and yeah. I, I don't like scary games, and I mm. genuinely enjoyed it. Yeah. And lately, you know, there's been a little bit of a lull, so I feel if you kind of, like, push out a new product, and, and mm. you know, it's... They're very similar, just packaged kind of differently. Yeah, yeah. Plus, we're going off of the movie fame. Exactly. Let's see what's gonna happen. And like, I remember in the supposed beta, to be a campaign it was too. crazy. People supposed, were, yeah, yeah. And they extended it like, and this is around Christmas time, so a lot of people were home for yeah. Christmas. Yeah. So it was like, I'm gonna go kill some people for Christmas. So I gotta, I gotta <laughs> complain a little here. One of my friends, I got yeah. a few beta keys to give out. Mm. One of my friends asked me, real life friend, for a beta key. I gave it to him, and then you know, and I told him, hey, uh, it's Christmas. If you're not gonna use it, I'll give it to my stream. Yeah. He didn't use it. No. And that could have been a beta key that somebody played. Well, that's so. Sucks. Please, if ever, yeah, you ask your streamer friends for keys, make sure you use the key or just... lie to your streamer friend. <laughs> Because now I'm never giving him a key. <laughs> Great advice. I love that. I love that. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's, yeah, guys, watch out for that uh, for sure. Um, next, really quick, uh, before we got to wrap up here, we have uh, Dark Siders 3 was officially announced with their first new trailer, which I think, I believe it's a brand new character who's the main lead. It looks like it's a female, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I've never played, I, no, actually, I played the first one. I played the second one. Um, they haven't really been my favorite. That's games. a really big stretch from I've never played. No, 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 no. I have played it before. But, uh, whoa. Okay, I forget these. Sorry. Mute, everybody. Mute. Because the the videos on this link go... You can hear the videos. Yeah, yeah. Go loud. They automatically so play me, a podcast. I've never played through the story. Can you give me a very quick run through? Um, Future, past, Well, basically... FPS. I didn't... I didn't... No, it's a third-person shooter. No, not third... No, it's yes. a third... Sorry. Third-person adventure game. I don't, yes. I can't tell you about the second one, but the first one is basically like you're playing as one of the four horsemen, I believe, of the apocalypse, mm -hmm. and you're trying to av avenge someone. I don't remember the story. It was kind of weird. I only played like the beginning. It was, was a like, while yeah. ago. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, but the second one, I just kind of was like, I was streaming it. I kind of just played it, and I wasn't really paying attention. I played for a little bit, and I stopped. So, but yeah. But I know a lot of people are excited that the third one's coming out, so there is a cool fan base out there. So, um... Sorry for killing everybody's ears with that with that <laughs> the trailer. Yeah. I apologize, um, but no, that's pretty cool. Especially when new games get announced and sequels and stuff like that. That's gonna be really really awesome. Um, which I'm still waiting on Beyond on. Good and Evil Two, and also well, I guess Eternal Darkness will never happen. But real quick, like and what's what, well, sorry Eternal Darkness for GameCube? It'll never oh. happen. It'll never happen though. Look at you the, with the all group. these games that I the old school know ones. About. The go the old school ones. I play a lot of old school ones. But like for example, mm -hmm. real quick, like what's a game that doesn't have a sequel but you would hope that eventually would have one? 
Mm, mm, mm. Oh, you can't just put me on the spot. I'm like sorry. I was just oh. was thinking. I was just thinking. Well, okay. I mean, it does. It does have a sequel because it's the second of that game. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Dungeon Keeper Two and Dungeon oh. Keeper One. You basically. I remember growing up on this game. You had a dungeon, and you basically were the bad guys, and you collected gold. You grew. You know. You built your your base, and had bad guys coming in, and you sacrifice them, and hasn't been another one. Yeah. And yes, you said. But most games have seen. Well, yeah, yeah, but yeah, true. Like a continuation onto a game. Let's see what some people said in chat. Uh, Killer Seven, Bully Two, Legend of Dragoon. I love that. Resident Evil Ooh. Two remake. I'm excited. Hopefully, we'll hear something at E3. If we hear something at E3, I'm gonna be running around naked. No, it's kidding. I'm kidding. It's like, wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna have a truth and dare because Brandon, if you give him money, he'll say okay. <laughs> She was and like, and like, I don't give you five dollars for that. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. Um, ten dollars. Okay, ten dollars for that. No, I was kidding. Um, <laughs> but yeah, of course, we're hopefully we'll hear Mega some Man stuff. X game. Wow. That's a good one. Yeah, um, I know. Of course, we heard about like some surprises for me. Were like Resident Evil Seven, which officially came out, which was crazy. Which I want you to eventually play one day. Half Life Three. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never hear about that. Um, but nope, nope, nope. no, like maybe one day. Maybe yeah, maybe one, one day. day. But we'll see. E three is coming up, and I love having. We had like a big old party last year. We were just kind of like hanging out and chat and talking about it, which because obviously you can talk about it on stream. Um, new Jack Dexter. That'd be cool too. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. E three. They might surprise us with some stuff. And I Nintendo better have a lot of stuff for the Switch. I swear. So speaking of, of games that followed up, Banjo Banjo Kazooie had oh. even though it's not the same ukulele. Mm. A lot of the same people that worked on Banjo worked on ukulele. That came mm. out this year. And yeah. I really enjoyed playing it. See? It gives me a, it gave me a feels. See, it feels is always good. I always love that. Yeah. Uh, but let's see. That's enough for video game news. Got to switch up. Because <laughs> this, is, this is why I love this show, because we like always talk, get to talk about some cool stuff. Um, yep. So this week, we're going to talk about our feature of the week, which is um, involved in our PTR, which is... Bow, bow, bow. We have a split mode now in the PTR for XSplit 3.0, which you obviously now you can see right here, which you can now... Well, only if you download the XSplit 3.0 PTR, um, you can now go into um, your settings and then you can actually preview what you want to show on your stream and then it goes into um, your, you can push it live. This feature is actually on um, XSplit 2.9 kind of in a way through the uh, preview editor, but this is a more in your face way where you can actually see it instead of going into a different like window than a uh, preview editor like we have right now. Um, so like we were kind of talking about this in the show, like XSplit 3.0 3.0 has a lot of new features on there a lot of cool things that people have been asking about there's a whole list of stuff that you guys need to check out um so this is going out right now and we'd love your feedback for that um if you guys have any questions or anything What's your feedback yeah we need your feedback because this is important to continue on with that but this is like a little gift so you guys can see it i thought this was really cool i was like playing around with it and i was like i need this more so yeah um but yeah, if you have any questions, make sure you check us out on social media, you know. Uh, if you want to drop it in chat and tell people where they can find you on Twitch and on, on Twitter and everything. Well, um, you can see by my beautiful purple check mark that you can find me on Twitter. Well, I don't have that yeah. there. I don't have it there because I, I know how to do that. But um, here Oh, you're talking about in chat. Not. I thought you were talking about the little thing. Because <laughs> like, I was like, AJ and Kevin know how to do the little name thing. I cannot do that. I'm not as cool as them. But yeah, you could definitely oh, check wait, out. That yeah. kind of failed. Basically, Twitter, just Obezianka, G U S T. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get the OG Obezianka. Mm -hmm. Or on Twitch, Obezianka. I know it sounds like a mouthful and a lot to type out. So hopefully I can fix that in the future. But for now, figure it out. There you go. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I am UGR Gaming. You can find me at uh, on Twitter, twitter.com slash UGR Gaming or on Twitch, UGR Gaming um, and all that cool stuff. Um, but, it, which is always a great to have you guys to be here with us. And like, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you're watching anywhere else, make sure you guys follow the channel wherever you're watching from. So we do the show every week as much as possible, just in case, you know, like there may be a week where we might be at an event or something. So we might not be around in the Philippines, in the Philippines or something like that. Or they, we might have to do one 
there. We'll see what happens. Oh, we might have to we do, might have to do uh, that. one of our exploits from E3. That yeah, I just realized so when you were talking that about. That might happen. So we'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> but we will be back very soon. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We unfortunately don't have anybody to host up tonight, it doesn't look like. But uh, we'll be back next week at the same time, same place, different topics, but more exploits. And probably no Kevin. Yeah, Because you're true. all going to vote for me. Yeah, right? vote for her to be back next week, you guys. All right. So we'll see you next week. Have a good one. And peace. Bye.